my work in particular was um, understanding the understanding that if if you if you give if if you're interacting with these beings and these beings are able to produce novel information that an individual couldn't produce themselves while under the experience of DMT, then you kind of you have a, a proof that the that the the information was being um, uh, manipulated by the DMT beings and not by the, the the human. And so the idea was that I mean, similar to you know Carl Sagan and the whole contact, the popular movie is that you know you have a, um, a best way to communicate with um, intelligent life form is prime numbers. I mean, it's a kind of the standard mathematical uh, f prime numbers is the idea that um, um, a number that can't can only be divided by itself in the number one. So if you give a sufficiently large number um, to a person and you ask the person to determine the prime factors of that number, it's it's very difficult to do. And a lot of encryption algorithms um, that we use today in the, on the internet are are based on the on the principle that it's very difficult to to determine the prime factors of a of a large number. However, if um, you give this person um, a large number and um, um, induce them with DMT and are actually able to have the, the beings compute the prime factors for you and come out of the world with um, um, uh, the prime factors, then you have veritable proof that the internal cognition of the individual is unable to generate that no those numbers. And in fact, the numbers were generated by these, um, um, these D D DMT beings, so it's kind of a, a proof of an alternate reality.